Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to have so much fun with alcohol inks today. I'm going to be sharing some things I've been playing with and discovering and we're going to close it out with this super fun, I guess it's called a mini slimline. I don't know. We'll check it out. All right, let's jump in. So a couple tips here. First one is I like to work on this silicone mat. Um, I find it just a great place to just get dirty and not have to worry about cleaning it up. Um, I'm also going to be wearing gloves. That's another tip because the alcohol, although you can take it off with alcohol wipes, it can be a little bit troublesome. I'm showing you what I'm using here. Now, the first thing, let's just jump right to here. These alcohol inks that I'm going to be using are marketed towards using with resin and they are massively less expensive. I did a video on this in my last money savings uh, hack video, and I showed you exactly how much less expensive. But if you want to try alcohol inks but don't want to break the bank, this is a great option for you. I'm also going to be using this, I guess it's like a hair dryer curling iron thing, but I took off the curling iron part. And I'm using this because I saw this one artist on YouTube who has the most amazing um, alcohol ink artwork and she uses that so I wanted to give it a try. So what I'm doing here, I'm just going to show you, I'm adding, uh, well let me tell you what paper I'm using. So today I'm using Brea Reese Heavyweight uh, Waterproof Cardstock. As you've seen in some of my other videos, you don't have to buy this expensive one. Um, I don't, this is, I think, probably comes out to be about a dollar a sheet, but don't quote me on that. It'll be linked below. However, I use poster board, and you can get poster board. I'll link that as well, and it works just, just the same. Also, you can use things from the Dollar Tree that are poster board. Um, just, you know, I've done many videos on this, but you don't, again, you don't have to buy the most expensive stuff to have fun. Now I am having a great time using this blower tool. If you have the Ranger heat tool, um, the one that looks like a hairdryer, or if you have a hairdryer, you'll probably get the same results. I just really thought this was a fun way to get sort of this, um, just this look, you'll see. I, I left this first one fully in there so you can kind of see. But it blows around the alcohol ink into each other and you can control where it goes and it dries it at the same time. So it's really, really cool, um, but there really is, I think the more you play with alcohol inks, the more you're going to find the techniques that you love, the techniques that you find inspiring, but it really is just about starting to play. Um, if you are new to this, please don't sit down and think that it has to be perfect. There is no such thing. It's literally going to be different every time and it's just so much fun. So you can see here I'm doing more sort of like a rainbow-ish coloring mix. You've also seen me use the blower tool technique, which I do love, and it gets sort of splatters. I think that's super fun as well. Um, but today, I don't know, there's just something about the way that this is blowing the alcohol inks around. It's just looks really, really good. I'm going to show you multiple examples so that you can kind of see as I'm using this. During this example right here, I actually kept the nozzle on my blending solution, but I'm going to change that up in a little bit because it gives me more control. If I use one of those, oh, oh, the word is escaping me. It's like you dip it in and then you drop it onto your card. <laughs> That's what it should be called. I don't know what it's called. But in any event, you can see um, just really how fun this is. Now I'm going in with some gold and I'm re-wetting the paper with a little bit of blending solution and then dropping the gold in there and I want to get that that accent. So fun. I also will tell you I've used, and this has been in a previous video, I'll link all my money savings videos at the end so you can see that, but um, I've also used 99% alcohol and that's worked really well to move my inks around just like the blending solution. Let's get into another one here. So, well, right here I'm going to show you I removed the cap off the top of the blending solution and then I'm going to be able to use this dipper thing. If you know what that's called, comment below because I surely forget. 
Um, all right, so now I'm gonna speed this up quite a bit. I left the first one in there a little slower just so you can see what I was doing. Now what I'm trying to do in this creation is I'm actually trying to lighten up. I don't want as much saturation and I am going to be using a lot of that blending solution. So I'm dropping colors in and I am moving it around and just kind of, I mean, really, there's no rhyme or reason what I'm doing. All I know is that I'm adding more blending solution than I added last time. And that's to lighten the colors. That's to move them around. I picked this sort of slate color and light pink. Um, I, I'm loving what it's doing. It's mixing into this sort of purple. Um, these are Brea Reese alcohol inks that I'm using. I love those as well. Um, but you'll get the same technique with any of the alcohol inks that, and that I'm showing you. And so you can kind of see, I don't know, just how they kind of merge together. Loving it. It's very, it's very uh, magical, whimsical. Um, it's wispy. I, so yeah, I, I really like the way this looks. So yeah, just having fun with it. Now I'm adding silver. And again, if I want that silver to move around a little bit more, I'm just going to add some more blending solution. I did a humongous project. Um, I'll have to, I'll, I'll finish the video and I'll show you when I figure out a place to put these, these alcohol inks, but they are about 24 by 36, I think it is, huge. And they turned out so pretty, um, rainbow themed. Now I'm doing this color theme here and I'm just showing you the end results of it. So we skipped all the other stuff. And I'm going back in and adding some more silver so I can get that look. Let's look at all the creations I made. So these are the different looks that I was able to get. I chose one of them to make a card with. You can do so many things with this technique. I mean, that in and of itself to me is just pure art. Just the fact that A, it's handmade, and B, you had so much stinking fun doing it. <laughs> Because that is what this is all about art therapy right okay I'm going to show you something I do and how I keep stuff this is a container by scrapbook.com I love their um, their storage options because they're really affordable but that's the four tier one that I'm using here and I keep uh, based on category I keep a lot of my extra pieces in these drawers and I labeled them so I know you know, large images, small images, holidays, uh, sentiments. It's really, really helpful to have them categorized and organized in such a way so that when I'm trying to just put together a card, sometimes maybe it's a quick card, I can just grab some stuff and, and assemble. And so that's really great. Also, I do a lot of a extra, I have a lot of extra stuff when I do projects. And so here you can see the place with my sentiments and it just makes things go by so much faster. So that's another tip for card making as well. Um, just kind of having some of those things that you know are inevitable, like you know you're gonna need a sentiment and some fun things to put on your card. And so it really just makes assembly just so much faster. This lucky um, die right here, I have to tell you, I made a shirt recently, which I'm gonna show you in another video, um, with some uh, HTV iron on. And that die is chunky and beautiful, and I love it on my shirt. So that's to come. Now I'm going to use this envelope as a template, because this is the envelope. These are the cheap ones you get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make my card fit inside that envelope. I love the size. The size is great. I don't know if there's like an official mini slimline size. I don't know. But I can tell you that this is more of a slimline style, and it's miniaturized. So I'm calling it a mini slimline. Now I have my cardstock cut down. I wanted, to, of course, to keep that as the focal element right there. I had this um, silver glitter butterfly that has been in my stash for years. And I said, don't throw that away. You're going to use that one day. <laughs> and it found its purpose today on this card. So I have that. And then I have this word uh, love. This is from scrapbook.com. I probably use this die set, this word die set more than anything. It has a few words in the set. It's beautiful. The font is gorgeous. And it's like that really soft, delicate edition. Then I'm going to pull out some romance sequins. This is from Catherine Puller. And I'm just going to add those. And voila, we have our card. I hope that this video was useful to you, that you picked up some tips and tricks, whether it be saving money, new techniques, or new organizing hacks. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me and for crafting with me today. I will list everything I used below in the description, as well as a couple places that you can check out and we can connect on other social media platforms. So that'll be linked in the link tree below. Um, you can check out my Amazon storefront. That's where I list all of my favorite money saving tips and tricks and other stuff. Thanks again. I will see you in the comments down below and in the next video. Bye-bye.